If you have the P03012345 code, then you have a single cylinder misfire. If you just have that one code and it's just a single cylinder misfire, it's almost certainly going to be one of your uh, coil packs is bad. So the way that the cylinders are numbered in this VQ37 engine, that's in uh, you know all of the Infinity G37s, some of the Infinity Q50s and Q60s, uh, and the 370Z, is you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I was really lucky and I had a P0301, meaning this cylinder right here, which is probably the easiest cylinder to get to. Uh, and to get to it, all you need to do is take off this hose here, and there's another hose that goes from here to there, and then you have a hose that attaches from this intake pipe to here and these what these are what those pieces look like so this comes off all in one piece um, this connection was the loosest for me and so that's what was easiest to take off uh, this piece here is screwed down uh, this is the other hose that I had to take off and of course I had to take off the engine cover all you need to do all of this is just this 10 millimeter socket uh, you can use a screwdriver to take off the hose clamps and then this for the uh, the hose clamps that are that are like those. So this was the original coil pack that was there. Uh, and as a side note, you know you really don't need to replace your coil packs unless something goes wrong with them. Uh, spark plugs are a different story, and maybe those you should regularly replace. I think for this engine, it's every 100,000 miles. Um, but anyway, the coil packs, when they go bad, the engine will tell you that it's bad. It will run really terribly, and it will give you the, the misfire code. So the OEM coil packs, I'm pretty sure they'll all have this V on them. Uh, at least that's been the case for the two examples that I have. So this was the original that's gone bad. I'm going to take this apart, see what's wrong with it. This is the Duracrap, Duralast <laughs> brand. Um, and... This worked for me. I, I only used it for a couple of days, but it was $115 from AutoZone. And I still sort of felt that it didn't run quite right, but it didn't throw any more codes. So I could have just been imagining that. This is a brand new, this is Hitachi brand. So OEM is the Hitachi brand. This was $55 or something like that from uh, Rock Auto. So this is what I'm switching it out back to today uh, to get back to OEM. Um, so, you know, putting these back in is really easy and taking them out is really easy. You can actually uh, take it out without unplugging it. I know these clips can be a pain when they're in a particular location, uh, but there's enough slack in the line that you can pull the thing out before you uh, uh, unplug it. There we go. All right, and then it can sweep around. Uh, and it's really easy to cross thread this bolt. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so just be careful and uh, start it with your fingers first. I'll tighten this all back up and it should all run fine. Um, but you know, if you have a single uh, cylinder misfire, this is a really easy problem to fix by yourself. Uh, for most of the cylinders, all you need is the 10 millimeter socket. If you do have to take off the throttle body, that might be a little bit more work to get to the other cylinders. Um, but you know, the engine is pretty symmetrical. So if you just need to get the cylinder uh, one or two, it's really easy. Just take off a little bit of the boot and you can get to things really easily. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Thanks. Bye.